Hey everybody, what we're going to be taking a look at in this lesson, and it'll probably take you know two, maybe three videos to really go through the entire thing, is going to be the idea of infinite limits or limits at infinity. Uh, so if you have your notes handy, it's a good idea to kind of go over them with me as, as I do them. Otherwise, uh, you could just use this to kind of refresh yourself on maybe something that I told you in class. Uh, but what we're looking at here, uh, we're talking about limits still, and we want to look at the behavior of a function as they approach infinity. Well, as they approach infinity, this right here, that's saying as x approaches positive or negative infinity. And the other part that we're seeing is that uh, as well as functions that tend toward infinity. Okay, so here where they tend toward infinity, that's as y approaches positive or negative infinity. Uh, so in one aspect, we're going to be talking about how uh, the function behaves, what the limit will be as x goes towards an extrema, uh, and as you approach a specific number, how does it behave, meaning that does it go, does the output go to infinity also, or instead I should say. So we have these uh, two functions, uh, function f and function g, and if, if you notice we have uh, function f here and function g here, so I'm going to try and uh, just work all of function f and then all of function g and see uh, what we wind up getting. Now this is a rational function, and this is a very good example to use for uh, this type of uh, investigation for uh, limits and, and identifying their behaviors. So we're looking at a one-sided limit here uh, for function f as we approach uh, 4 from the left-hand side, uh, meaning that you start here on the left side of the graph, and as you approach 4 on the x-axis, you can see the function curves, and it goes up towards a positive infinity. And if I do the same thing, the one side limit from the right-hand side of the function now, I'm approaching 4 from the right, uh, so along the x-axis you can see that the function is bending and going down, and it's kind of following that vertical asymptote that you see in the function. So here, this is going down towards a negative infinity. Well, let's take a look at uh, function f here, okay, still, but now instead of approaching a one-sided limit from the left side to the right side, well, what happens if you approach infinity? This is where, this is that first thing here that was saying, okay, as x approaches infinity, what's going to happen? Well, and again, let me make sure we can see it. So, as x goes towards positive infinity, meaning that we are, we're going to the right side of the graph forever. As x goes towards that way, you can see it's going to approach this horizontal asymptote at negative 2. And uh, this here, this should have a negative sign on it. Oh, no, I did it backwards. Ah, uh, there's my negative sign. So... Let me just double check. As x goes towards negative 2 or negative infinity, as x goes towards negative infinity, my apologies, I just assumed positive infinity was going to be first. But So you see as x goes to the left forever, it's still going to approach that horizontal asymptote. So uh, negative 2 is correct and positive 2 for positive or negative 2 for positive infinity is good. So I didn't, didn't really mess it up too bad. I, I just didn't read the sign there. I thought it was going to be on the second one. Okay, so now let's take a look at the behavior for function g. So function g, again, we're going to start off by looking at these one-sided limits. We're looking at 1 from the left-hand side. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to approach 1 from the left-hand side. And as you can see, as you approach the number 1 on the x-axis from the left-hand side, What's going to happen is we're going to kind of hit that vertical asymptote there, 
and you're going to bend it and go down forever. So as I approach one from the left hand side, the function goes towards negative infinity. And conversely, if I approach the positive one from the right hand side, we're kind of following the x axis, we can see uh, as we get close to that vertical asymptote, we're going to bend and go up towards positive infinity. Well, now we're going to take a look at the same function, and I'll look at the sign this time and make sure I don't mess it up. Uh, we're going to be looking as x goes towards negative infinity, what's the behavior going to be? So when I go to the left forever on the graph, you can see that it's following this asymptote. It's a slanted asymptote, which makes sense because this is a top-heavy function, so there should be a slanted asymptote or an oblique asymptote somewhere, and that's what we're seeing. So as we go left forever, you know, we, we only have this somewhat gradual slope. It's not necessarily going to be as uh, sharp as what we're seeing with the vertical asymptote, but it is going down forever. So it's going to head on that negative slope, or it's going to head on that slope down forever. So this will approach a negative infinity. Now looking at positive infinity. So as I go to the right side forever, Again, we can see the function because of that oblique asymptote. As I go to the right forever, I'm also going to be going up forever. So I'm going to approach positive infinity. Now, what conclusions can be made here? What are your discoveries? Uh, at this point, maybe pause the video and see if you can write something out and Draw your own conclusions, and when you're done, hit play and see what I'm about to write. But here, the discovery that I'm seeing is that as I approach a function you know, with our one-sided limits like this, uh, I'm going to an extreme of some kind. I'm either going to head towards a positive or, or negative infinity. So here I'm going to say... A vertical asymptote exists if our one sided limits. are unbounded. So here, I approach the left-hand side, the right-hand side. They go towards infinity, so that means there has to be a vertical asymptote at that uh, point, uh, wherever you're trying to approach the limit at. And what about the discovery for the bottom part here? Uh, here, uh, we can see that we either approach a specific number on the y-axis uh, where that is going to represent our horizontal asymptote or because like in this example we have a slanted uh, asymptote uh, we could also approach positive or negative infinity. Uh, so here I'm going to say that as x approaches either a positive or negative infinity in this case, y will approach some specific number that I'm going to just call a. Okay, It's just going to approach something that's your uh, horizontal asymptote. Or y will approach a positive or a negative infinity with your with a slant asymptote. I don't know why I put a comma there. So the final things that we're going to take a look here, an infinite limit is going to be represented uh, mathematically kind of something like this. Uh, an infinite limit is going to be as 
x approaches c some number okay some number that we're we're talking about some specific number as x approaches a particular number uh, The limit will approach positive or negative infinity. And so a limit at infinity, meaning that uh, here, this is the example that we're going to be going towards infinity automatically on our x-axis. Here, what I'm going to say, let me move it up so we can see it OK. As x approaches positive or negative infinity the limit will approach a y value that's your horizontal asymptote or will be unbounded because of a slanted asymptote. So those are the two scenarios that we could have for that. So we're coming up on about uh, 12 minutes here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this video and we'll pick it up with a second edition here shortly. Uh, but that is essentially the gist of how the functions are going to behave as they either approach infinity uh, going to the left or to the right on the function, uh, how it is going to behave, or for uh, a function that will approach infinity where we, you know, we use our one-sided limits and we come in to see uh, how the function will behave there. So that's the difference between uh, a function that is an infinite, has an infinite limit or limits that go towards infinity. So uh, we'll pick it up in a second video uh, later on. So thanks for watching. Take care.